Right, welcome back to the video everyone. It's currently half seven. Uh, I got in the tractor this morning, it was parked up over the other side of the yard. Drove it over to where the wrap is to put some more wrap on it. And then went to get in it and go again. And none of this armrest would work. The spools, it wouldn't let me go forward or back or anything. And I thought, well that's a bit weird because I just moved it. Uh, so I sort of put my hand down and just wiggled some wires. All of a sudden it just shot off. Uh, I had to slam my foot on the brake and um, I was like what the hell is going on so I sort of had a little look and that big plug down there um, I don't know if you can see it that one was unplugged and I was like how the hell is that going plug because it's got like a collar that clips it back in um, so I have no idea how that happened and I plugged it back in getting all sorts of error codes and I thought for fuck's sake it's going to have to be like reset or something but um, then uh, Turn it off, turn the isolator off, uh, and it seemed to reset everything, and it's alright now. But yeah, that was very strange, I've never had that before. Uh, not sure why that happened, but it did. So. Anyway, we're going again now, hopefully it won't happen again. Hi guys, I'm back again. Um, another clip, I haven't filmed for a few days because I've literally just been bathing, just haven't stopped bathing. Um, yeah, we've just been trying to get it done as quick as possible, so I'm currently over at Robert's again, uh, bathing some stuff, I'm trying to beat this rain, because there is rain due this afternoon, so I've got this field and I have a small one to do. Not bad, this is a uh, second cut, so I think I filmed doing first cut in this one. Um, yeah, this is second cut, but he's raked it quite a lot into each row, so I don't have to go up and down so much. But, um... Yeah, I've just been bathing pretty much, so I haven't filmed too much because I've filmed a fair bit of bathing already. The bathing has been going really well. Again, I'm really pleased with it. It's sped the job up so much. Um, so yeah, everything's running smoothly. Uh, I'll probably do like a full review on the bathing eventually. Maybe towards the end of the season. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to try and beat this rain. I did have a few spots of uh, rain on the mud guard, but they've sort of evaporated. So hopefully it'll hold off until I can finish but it looks really bad out there so um, it almost looks like it's raining across there so yeah we'll really try and push on and get this done so trying to beat the rain isn't quite happening it's, I don't know if you can see a few spots on the bonnet and the bumpers and the, not the bumpers, the bonnet and the bug guards but not loads, so I've only got four rows left in this field and I've got another one to do, but we'll have to see how we go. I'm just gonna keep going for now. Um, I mean, I'll speak to Robert if he wants me to stop, um, but I mean, a little bit of rain on this isn't gonna hurt. It is quite wet already, but it's not the end of the world. It's better to get it wrapped up with a little bit of rain on than to let it get a lot of rain on, so. We'll just keep going for now. I'm having to go real steady because it's pretty thick wet rows and they keep blocking up if I try and go too fast. Um, okay. See a fair bit feeding in. Yeah. That's the last bell for this field getting wrapped up. We did beat, well, I'm not sure we beat the rain because the rain did come, but uh, it, we beat the bulk of the rain. Well, in this field we did anyway. So we've got one more field to do. I don't think it's as heavy or as big as this field, so we should wrap it up pretty quick. Just drop that bell off there. And then, yeah, we'll head to the next field. Just arrived in the last field, so it's only these four rows, so I'm pretty sure we'll get this done before the rain, unless it all of a sudden comes down real quick right now. Um, but hopefully we'll be okay. And then I'm heading home to market. Uh, Tim's off tomorrow back to New Zealand so I'd better go and say goodbye to him. Uh, he's been in a lot of help since mum and dad went to America but they're back now and yeah Tim's going back to New Zealand to back to his farm in New Zealand. I think uh, his wife Claire's probably missed him. Yeah but it's been ideal having him here to help us out. Just got home finished that bailing. And uh, I just thought I'd show you our stack of bells here. You can see it's just started raining on the bells. But yeah, that bottom row, obviously they've got more weight on, so they're gonna squish a bit more. But they're iBio bells, and the ones above are out of a new baler. And then also all behind, these are all iBio bells. 
and these aren't the new baler so you can see how much higher and how much less squat they have but we'll get a better picture of that when uh, we get more bells stacked but yeah they're definitely uh bigger more so well not bigger they're just more solid bells um, and the ones on the trailer over there are out of the new baler and they've held their shape well so definitely uh, producing better quality bells better more solid bells just come over to pick up some bells that we did the other day uh, we got about 600 to pick up I think there's 250-ish here so um, we're gonna be busy for a day or two picking up bells but yeah Dan's just picking them up and put them on the low loader over here um, got yeah all these I filmed doing making these bells the other day all across there Look who showed up! We're only going to be able to put 17 on a load because most of these bells are about nine, eight, 900 kilos um, and the trailers are only 15 ton trailers. Just get back to the yard now, the pile's getting bigger. Um, we're gonna run out of room pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna have to find some other spots to stack bells fairly quickly. Cause um, we need to leave a bit of a gap here to get through. Um, we might have to stack some along here as well. Right, it's the next day, it's quite nice today actually, weather wise. We are back over picking up bells. Um, there's, I think, another 100 ish to pick up. There was 250 to pick up over here to begin with. Um, and we've taken, this is loads five and six. Um, we did two yesterday, and these are our two each yesterday. And this is our third one each today. Hopefully do this one and up one more. It's currently three o'clock. Um, so it should be able to squeeze another one in after this one. Um, and then there'll be, I don't know how many of us, because I can't do the maths, but a couple more loads each, I should think. Um, and that'll be this area cleared anyway. And then we'll have uh, maybe another 250, 300 bells left to clear. Uh, in different fields, so definitely still a lot of bells to clear. Because, um, yeah, we bowed a hell of a lot. I was looking the other day, yesterday, I've already done 950 bells with the new baler, and we've only had it. Wouldn't be two weeks. I did about two, yeah, 950 bells in maybe a week. So, yeah, really been busy with it, but that's the main thing, that's why we bought it, to keep it busy. Um, anyway, we'll carry on and try and get all these cleared and then I'll be back with you at the end of the day. Right, that's the last load for today. Um, 
that's majority of them picked up anyway that's just finishing unloading um, I think there's about three more loads over there and then yeah the rest of the fields but that's the biggest uh, amount of bells we've got out in one place so it's ideal to get them picked up the pile's grown we're nearly running out of room so we're gonna have to find somewhere else to put bells we'll overcome that bridge when we got it get to it anyway I'll call that video here and uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one